So on Thursday, September the 28th, we had uh, team members from Eli Lilly and Company that came uh, to the campus to celebrate their global day of service with us. One of the directors of the company, uh, Ms. Delana Guest, reached out to us and said that they had selected Stafford ECC as their site for service, and we were super excited. Over 30 team members came to the campus uh, to offer their service and um, completing things such as uh, wiping down our tables in the classrooms and throughout the building. They helped uh, create posters for our upcoming Custodial Appreciation Day. They assembled uh, chairs and carts. Uh, they made goodie bags. They helped us prepare our uh, red ribbon packets for teachers. Just anything that we asked them to do, sorting supplies, helping us um, clear the stage that had boxes still on there from the beginning of school year and backpacks. Anything we asked them to do, um, they happily committed to uh, accomplishing the task and getting it done. Well, Eli Lilly is a pharmaceutical company. We do research and development to bring groundbreaking medicines to the communities to um, help patients live healthier and longer lives. The Lilly Global Day of Service is a day that our um, organization actually shuts down in our headquarters city of Indianapolis, Indiana, and all of our Lilly colleagues disperse throughout the community to support the community through different organizations and different um, charitable efforts. Here in the Houston area, we have two days that we're doing that to make it feasible for all of our teams here. So today we have decided to support um, Ms. Twyla Hines and her campus with uh, any projects th that we could help them with here today. Uh, Ms. Guest, as well as all of the team members, continue to reiterate that this was uh, a day nationwide that the company uh, really focused on um, giving back to the community. And um, they all came in their Eli Lilly shirts, they were in red, and um, they said it was Go Red Day, and where they really put their best foot forward in um, showing just um, what coming together and working collaboratively could do to help um, agencies like ours, the school, um, be successful. And we truly, truly appreciated it. One of the challenges that we had, because we brought three of our teams together, we had about 35 um, with the team today. And so we found it very challenging to get with other organizations. They couldn't accommodate the size group that we have. I have in the past done some work with Ms. Hines and with this campus. And so I told her what we were trying to get done, what we were trying to do. And she said, I'd gladly take on all 35 of you. So this is where we ended up and uh, particularly with the STEM lab that's here. So uh, because we are a scientific company, that kind of fell in our wheelhouse. So we wanted to make sure we were able to support her in that endeavor. Now, we just wanna thank you all for the opportunity to come and serve today. It's always our hope and our desire to uh, serve in the communities in which we work and live. So it's not just about uh, what we bring to the community through our organization, um, as Eli Lilly with groundbreaking medicines, but also what we can do to help our communities thrive and to get better.